three years, it's been encouraging and inspiring to see progress among Scotland's employers to drive forward diversity and inclusion. But we know it's important to continue the conversation and share best practice, and that's why we're all here today. We hope that you will build connections that we believe will help deliver the transformational change we need to see in Scotland to achieve greater diversity and to enable us to create more inclusive cultures in all our workplaces. And it was fascinating. We were given 100 senior women and 10 senior men, and we were able to interview them about how they'd made it to the top. And the women, as you can imagine, very impressive, and they were very honest, as you'd expect as well. And uh, a number of them said that they had to behave like men to get there. And that's what we're trying to change. That's the narrative that we have to change, that you don't have to be that, that person. You don't have to be something that you're not. You can be authentic and you can make your, make your way to, to the top or to whichever level you want to, to get. So we wanted to create a culture that um, really embraced everybody for who they were as authentic, bringing your authentic self to work. Um, and create a culture that meant that no matter where you come from, what your preferences are, or who you are, uh, you had a right to be here, that you were in an environment that was safe, where you felt your opinion mattered, and where you were heard. And when we provide that environment for our people, then everybody benefits and everybody flourishes. really interesting this year is that this is year three of um, the NewsQuest Herald Diversity and Inclusion Conference and the first two years we had a lot about what businesses were going to do, what they were hoping to achieve. What I've seen today so far is that people are achieving that. One of the standout things that I've, I heard was from uh, Stacey Winters, one of the partners at Deloitte's, and she was saying that they gave some of their teams three to four months in order to change the, the gender mix and the diversity within their leadership teams. That, to me, is a huge progress. I learnt a lot more about flexible working, although as I interpreted it, it was more about flexible living. And uh, I'm definitely going to go back to my company and start talking to my team and the new starts that I've got coming in the next couple of months and start talking about how they can use that flexible living in their work. And then they'll have a choice and a, a, the ability to choose how they want to live and how they want to work. We're seeing a lot of people who have been here the last two years, they're back again for the third year, so there's some familiar faces and also there's some new faces, so that creates a really nice buzz.